Hi, it's Susan. Welcome back to my channel. Today is not about showing you how to do something or showing you what I've made. Today is talking about a sticky situation, which is glue, adhesives, whatever we use to put paper to paper and make it stay, paper to fabric, fabric to paper, um, any kind of adhesives. And I want to show you all the glues or sticky things that I have acquired over the years and maybe stop you from doing what I did, which was buying all of these glues that I, I don't need. And there are certain glues you need in certain situations. Certain people like card makers maybe you know prefer one kind of something and people that are making journals prefer something else. But I just wanna talk about the different clue, glues that I have here and whether or not I've used them and if so, how. The most popular ones I think right now are Mod Podge and Glue All for just very basic crafting purposes. You know, we can get them at usually at a dollar store or a drug store, you know, inexpensively. Um, I don't like Mod Podge anymore just because of the sticky factor. I still have a, a couple jars of it left because I'm an obsessive shopper. And so when I would go into a store and I would see something on sale, I would buy it. Not good. Don't do that. Do as I say. Don't do as I do. <laughs> But I do use both of these if I'm going to be making fabric paper or any kind of a layered collage where I, I'm going to water stuff down. And it's okay if I water these, the, these two things down. I don't like them for putting paper to paper because of the wrinkle factor and, again, because of um, uh, the stickiness that happens with Mod Podge, although there are things you can do with it. You can rub it with bathing powder. You can rub it with wax. Uh, you can kind of buff it a little bit, but like I said, I, I'm phasing these out and I only have, you know, have it left over for fabric paper. The, um, when I watch a video and I would see somebody talking about a particular product and I think, oh wow, that is really cool that that thing would do that and, you know, I should probably go get that. And so when I saw people doing things with jewelry findings, and they needed, you know, or they were like attaching glue or wood to the front of a journal cover or something, they were often using something like E6000. So I did buy E6000. And then I realized I'm not using it the way it, I'm not using it, period. I mean, I think I've had this one for, I don't know, probably four years, and I used it maybe once or twice. And one of them, I think, was on a household project, not on an art project. But if you need to glue something, you know, and make it stay, something that's kind of non-permeable, you know, not paper to paper and fabric to paper, but if you have a wood frame and you're trying to glue it to the front of your journal, this is going to hold it for you. So evidently, well, this, <laughs> which I bought and have never used, maybe once. And I, I don't even know why I bought this because I've, I've got bling, but I have not worked with bling. So this says fabric embellishing adhesive from um, Aileen's. And I don't know... I don't know, dries clear, quick drying, never use it, never even open the thing. Well bond though, this is good. I, you know, again, you can use that like the E6000. Diamond glaze, you can do a lot of things with it. I watched it, uh, you can, it's sort of like um, glossy accents, I think, which I also have around here somewhere, but I couldn't find. And it gives you that kind of a glass-like shine over something. So kind of almost like a resin-like look. Um, again, have not even opened this one yet, though I bought it for a project I thought I was going to do, didn't do. Rubber cement. I had this from my writing days, actually from many, many years ago, from when I used to build up newspaper newsletters, the old-fashioned way where we would have to type them and cut them out and then lay them out on a newsletter, you know, on, in, not online. We didn't have computers back then. Um, but I like to use rubber cement sometimes if I'm trying, if I've got cling stamps that don't want to cling anymore, I can um, put these on a, one of my acrylic blocks and use this to attach the stamp to the block and then it peels right off really nice and easy. Tombow Mono Glue. It's got two applicators, which is nice, a skinny one and a brush one. And at one time, I used this a lot for doing just basic collage work, but I don't know if the formula's changed or what, but I, I don't like it as much now, but I do like it. I just, you know, when I use it up, I won't be restocking this. I don't think it's something that I'm going to use a lot. I imagine card makers and people that are doing a lot of just strictly paper crafts might use this. I also tend to squeeze too hard when I'm using glue, so a lot of my issues with glues might not be your issues with glue, which is, you know, big old blobs come out all over the place. 
but you know, the, it, it's a nice glue, and I think they've got two or three of them in this kind of a style, I think, and one's designated more for paper than the other. Don't use it as much anymore. Um, this came in some kind of a sample pack from Aileen's. Okay to wash it, permanent fabric adhesive. I wish I'd had something like this years ago when I was trying to quick hem my pants and dresses and I didn't have a sewing machine because that would have been cool. Uh, I used to use just regular Elmer's glue, believe it or not, to try and do that. Haven't taken the lid off of this one yet. This is another one I use occasionally for my rubber stamps, tack it over and over again. I can uh, put my cling stamps, I can put the, the that don't want to cling anymore, I can put this on it and then they'll cling to the acrylic block. So I do like this. I have never opened this one. Quick drying taffy glue. Saw somebody using it. Thought I needed to have it. Nope. <laughs> Elmer's Craft Bond. Saw somebody using it. Thought I needed to have it. Have maybe, okay, it looks like maybe I've opened it. Nope, haven't opened it. There's no even glue bits there. Haven't used it. Spray adhesive I thought I was going to use for something. Uh, have not used it. Dusty and everything. Have not used it, but that's another option. Aileen's super thick, super thick tacky, clear gel tacky, and fast grab tacky. Have not used any of them. I, and here is, of course, Aileen's original tacky glue which I used for many, many years, and I liked. The problem I have with it is that it really hurts to squeeze. My, my hands are not great, so it hurts me to squeeze it. And I do have some in the um, container that, you know, that's got the square top on it now, and it can sit upside down, which is a nice thing, but I still have trouble squeezing any of these out. But I don't think you need all of these. Maybe you do. Maybe somebody has a special purpose that works on all of these. And if so, let me know down in the comments so other people can know. Same thing on any of these other ones. If you use these glues for a particular item, a particular type of work, you know, let me know. Something else I thought I had to have when I was doing, first doing journals, was this sticky tape. And it's sticky on both sides, but it's got the little um, foam in the middle. So I guess you would use it if you're making cards and you wanted to have something a little bit more dimensional. Uh, yeah, I think I probably got this at wish.com, came from China. And when it got there, got finally got here, I had no idea what I wanted to do it with. But I can imagine, you know, for certain things, this is going to be useful if you just want to raise maybe an image off the cover a little bit. But it's not something you need to go, go right out and have. This was something I used to really, really love. And again, I think something's changed and it's, or I've changed the way I work or what have you. But this is another Tombow um, permanent adhesive and it's just a tape runner. And sometimes it works really well for me, and sometimes I must just be super uncoordinated. You know, you just run it down the paper. And it, it's really nice for attaching paper to paper. I would use that for collage. I would also use it for temporary pieces. So I, I still like that. Uh, score tape. Score tape is awesome. I'm going to be able to find the end because it's so thin. And, of course, card makers are very familiar with that. But this, you know, it's not cheap. But it is nice because when you peel off that other edge, then you've got sticky adhesive on both sides. So you would put that down and peel it up. And for a while, I was using that a lot. But again, it's expensive. Um, it's nice if you're making journal covers and you've got to worry about adhesive coming through. If you haven't done a lining or something on it, you want to use a very lightweight fabric, this can sometimes come to your rescue. Much cheaper, though, than score tape is carpet tape, which is the same thing. It's just this is adhesive right here and then you peel off the backing and it's adhesive on the other side. So carpet tape is, is really awesome. Uh, I use it a lot for doing fabric journal covers. All right, so here's what I use all the time. Glue sticks, hot glue. I'm sorry, not glue sticks. This is hot glue. It goes in my hot glue gun. I don't use it as much as I did years ago. However, I just watched a video by um, Maggie Smith, uh, sorry, Maggie White, and she did her fabric um, journals and they were all glued together, and she uses glue sticks, or hot glue. She also uses Fabri-Tac, and of course this is something many of us are familiar with. It has issues, it's got a smell, it you know tends to bubble up, it, it's, it's got a lot of issues, but it really does work well, especially when you're working with fabric. 
So I use hot glue, I use Fabri-Tac, I use art glitter glue because it, it, it does a job for me. I don't use it all the time. I tend to go more for Fabri-Tac, so I'm always looking for my coupons so that I can get it cheap. And because I came to journal making from mixed media, I use a lot of matte medium because that's what I would be using in, in my mixed media collages. And it's just a liquid glue. Um, you can water it down a little bit. I wouldn't water it down too much, but you can also add colors to it and you have like a colored glue. Uh, and it works really nice to do a top finish on something. And this is a golden product, so it's not like the cheapest glue out here. It would be like buying Fabri-Tac, but I really like using that medium. And then of course the trusty glue stick, which we all love uh, for different reasons. And we, you know, sometimes if you're just needing a temporary stick, don't buy the expensive ones, go to the dollar store and buy the cheap dollar store ones. If I'm just tacking down fabric or paper before I'm gonna stitch it, most of the time I'm gonna be using my cheap sticks, not my, my more expensive ones. So you really don't need the massive quantities of glue that I have. I would love to know what your favorite glues are for doing what. But, but these are my, my biggies right here. Matte medium, glue stick, art glitter glue, Fabri-Tac, and the hot glue gun. That's all I got for now. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up if you like this, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.